Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I've been getting a lot of requests for what I eat, stay in rip mode to 5% or below 5%. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm, I know I'm on the 5% right now. So I've been getting a lot of requests. They want to know what I eat. People want to know what I eat to maintain this very low body fat. So I already made a prior video, but this one is going to be more thorough and more detailed. So let's get right into it by the way today is june 24th 2024 and as you can see we'll start with my breakfast the ingredients and macronutrients of my breakfast are as follows one cup of cooked oatmeal which is 154 calories 27 grams of carbohydrates six grams of protein three grams of fat inside the oatmeal i put a teaspoon of fennel seeds seven calories uh, traces of carbohydrates and protein. I put the fenugreek seeds in there, as you can see right there, 36 calories. Uh, <clears throat> again, traces of carbohydrates, protein, 2.5 grams. But I put this scoop right here of protein powder. All right. You can see it right here. This is isolated whey protein. I put a half a scoop in there, which is 54 calories. Traces of carb and it has about 12.5 grams of protein. This is my oatmeal. In this oatmeal, I also I also chop up fresh organic ginger. I even put a teaspoon of defatted cacao powder. I put cinnamon and I put uh, stevia. I cook, I mix it up, and I eat it. Okay, but for breakfast, I also eat an egg omelet. The egg omelet consists of six egg whites, 102 calories, traces of carbohydrates, protein, 21.6 grams, and zero fat. Inside the omelet, I put a half a tomato, I put a quarter red pepper, red bell pepper, and I put a little drop of sea salt. There's a reason why I do I, I, I usually don't add salt, but I do add it in the morning because the minerals are important to have, so a little salt is not going to hurt you. The total combined total, the total com combination of all the macronutrients for the breakfast is 374 calories, 41.7 grams of protein. I mean carbohydrates, 43.7 grams of protein, and 42, 4.2 grams of fat. Okay. Now, as a percentage of macronutrients, my breakfast is as follows: carbohydrates. About 45%. Protein, about 47%. Fats, about 10%. Please remember, these are just estimates. They could be off by 1% either direction. So these are just estimates, but this, you get the picture. It's close enough. Okay, my lunch. Here's the ingredients for my lunch. Red lentil pasta. Let me show you what the red lentil pasta is. You see it right there? It's organic maple lentil, and it's high in protein. And it's low glycemic. This is why I eat it. It's not like regular pasta. This is low glycemic. In other words, it takes longer to burn the carbohydrates. Which could, okay, I eat 60 grams. I have a measuring or thing where I measured 60 grams, about 25 calories, 31.8, 32 grams of carbs, and about 16 grams of protein. The fat is non existent. Inside the pasta, I put two egg whites, 34 calories. 7.2 grams of fat. The reason why I put the egg whites is to make it sure that it's complete protein. Complete protein. The egg whites are the best. With the egg whites, I put, put three ounces of chicken breast, 140 calories, 26 grams of protein, three grams of fat. Inside this meal is the rest here. Half a tomato, half, half, <clears throat> a half a, a red bell pepper, and a half a cup of cooked broccoli. I put seasoning in there. I put basil, oregano. I put all, in all my meals, most of my meals, I put a lot of dry parsley. I eat a lot of dry, a lot of dry parsley. I will, I will break it down later. Um, okay, so the combined total is 437 calories, 45 carbs, 52 protein, and 4.4 4 grams of fat. The percentage of macronutrients for my, for my lunch is carbohydrates, 41%. Protein is about 48%, and fat is about 9%. Again, like I said earlier, give or take 
a percentage point. It's close enough. Nothing is perfect, but it's close enough. Dinner, pea pasta, organic pea pasta. Same thing, high in protein, and it's low glycemic. It takes longer to burn. This is, what the kind of, this is the kind of carbohydrates I like. Okay, the pea pasta, 50 grams, 170 calories about, 27 grams of carbs, 10 grams of protein, fat is non-existent, saturated fat is non-existent. I put a full tomato in there, I put a baby carrot, I put half a cup of broccoli, half red bell pepper, and I put, this is one of my favorite, frozen Pollock fish, six ounces, which comes out to 154 calories, about 31 grams of fat, fat, I mean 31 grams of protein. The fat is basically, here it goes right here, I'm gonna show it to you. It's just frozen Pollock if you get from the supermarket. This is what the fish looks like. You can see it right here. I made a prior video. I made a video on this. You're welcome to look at it if you like. Okay. Combined total is 385 calories, 43 to 44 grams of carbohydrates. For this meal right here, 45 grams of protein. Again, the fat is very large. You can see the percentage of micronutrients relevant to, to this meal. Carbohydrates, 45%. Protein, 47%. And fat, 7.7%. Again, give or take, percentage point either way. Now, I eat five times a day. This is meal number four that I eat around, I say, 8 o'clock, 7, 8 o'clock. Um, it includes a kiwi. It includes a half a banana. And mixed berries. Here are the mixed berries I use. Blueberries, raspberries. You know, all those, all of those. And I put quark right here. I don't know if you know what quark is. I made a video on that. It's, this is a non-fat quark, 165 calories, 10 carbs, has 30 grams of complete protein. Fat is non-existent in there. This is like my fruit salad, fruit salad mixed with this protein quark. And inside the, the quark, I put Another half a scoop of my protein powder. Okay, again, 60 calories, 12.5 grams of protein. Combined total of this meal is about 365 calories, 40, 40 to 41 grams of carbs, 45 grams of protein. Fat is non-existent. As a percentage of macronutrients, carbohydrates, 45%. Protein, 50%, give or take. And fat is basically non-existent, 4%. Again, remember what I said earlier, percentage point either way, so I, this is this is approximate. Now, this is my last meal. I eat this meal right before I go to sleep. But before I eat this meal, you know, I, I take a very hot shower, very hot shower, and then I stretch. I do a stretching routine for about 40 minutes. Then I eat this meal. It's a very, very small meal, just six egg whites. Again, I make an omelet. I don't put any seasoning in this. I just cook the egg whites. And I drink a half a cup of water, and I put the protein powder in there that I showed you earlier, which comes out to about 109 calories, 24 grams protein powder, at 21 grams, 22 grams for the egg whites. Anyway, the combined total is 211 grams. Carbs is very low. Protein is 45 grams. As a percentage of micronutrients, carbohydrates, six, very, very low. You don't want to go to sleep with a high carb meal. Not good. This is non existent. It's very low. But this right here, this is right here, 87%. And the fat is also non existent. So basically, my whole, this meal is almost all protein. And the reason why I go to sleep with this meal is because I work out three to four times a day more than two hours a day at different times throughout the day, your body is, at night when you're sleeping, your body needs the protein the most because you're fasting. You're fasting. You need to replenish, recuperate. I feel fantastic in the morning. I feel like I didn't even work out. No pains. The protein heals you. This is why 
I finish my day with a high protein diet. Now, as you can see, the total for all my meals combined is about 1800 calories. Now, remember, I didn't, I'll get back to that in a minute 174 grams of carbs, 231 grams of protein, and about 14 grams of fat. Percentage of micronutrients for my entire day, okay, carbohydrates, about 40%. Protein, about 52%, and fats, about 8%, 7-8%, give or take a percentage point. In addition to the foods I mentioned above, I like I said, I eat about a half of a cup of chopped fresh ginger. I sprinkle almost all my meals. It's organic, fresh ginger. As you can see right here, it's about 38 calories. I also use three tablespoons of dried parsley. I made a video on dry fossils. There's a reason. It's, these things are full of vitamins also and minerals. 14 calories. I don't care about the calories. It's just that it has so many good compounds. It was, I eat, I'm, I'm calorie restricting. So I need, and I work out and I need these extra minerals and vitamins. Although I take a multivitamin, I still use this. A tablespoon of cloves. Cloves, oh my God, cloves are so healthy for you. Very low in calories. I left this out. I explained rosemary, basil, thyme, cardamom, oregano, and I, like I mentioned earlier, defed a cacao. Remember, all this adds up to another about 100, 150 calories. I don't know. So altogether, I eat about 1,800 or 1,900, maybe near 2,000 calories a day, maybe near that. Now, before I continue, I want everybody to know, for, for my body, I figured out I need about 2,600, 2,700 calories to maintain my body weight. And this, this is, by the way, this is without training. Okay, so basically, I'm on, I'm on about a thousand calorie deficit with the, with this total calories I take. I'm gonna, in other words, you need about 3,500 calories to lose a pound of body fat. Now, if you eat a high protein diet and you calorie strict, you are going to lose the fat, not the muscle tissue. As long as you work out, I work out. So I'm losing, I'm the melt, the fat is melting off my body. This is why I do this. Because I'm just the melt the fat is melting. The muscle tissue I'm remaining because of the high protein intake during the day. Okay. Now there's something else I want to talk about. I have one cheat day of the week. And I'll explain why I have this one cheat day. Okay, so I'm going to break down the foods I use for my cheat day. This is just, I know I use different things, but this is, I'm giving you an example. I eat 12 eggs a day, including the yolk this time. Okay, 840 calories, carbs. I, by the way, it's, this cheat day is high protein, high fat, extremely low carb. Okay, there's a reason why I eat high fat in this cheat meal. I'll explain it in a second. Anyway, back to this. 12 egg yolks, 840 calories, 6 carbohydrates, 72 grams of protein, 60 grams of fat. I eat what's called low-carb, high-protein bars, which you see right here. Okay, let me share a screen. As you can see on the screen right here, one bar has 375 calories, 14 grams of fat, 7.7. 7.7 .7 grams of carbohydrates and the protein, very high protein ball, has 45 grams. As I said, I eat three of these on my cheat day. Next, I follow up with eating 100 grams of mixed nuts with 600 calories, 20 grams of carbohydrates, 20 grams of protein, and 55 grams of fat. Then, we have peanut butter, but this is a different kind of peanut butter. This is high protein peanut butter. As you can see right here, this, this brand here, which contains 100 grams of it, contains 630 calories, 8 grams of carbohydrates, high protein, 28 grams, and 52 grams of fat. In combination, the whole combined total is 3,200 for that, for that cheat day, 3,200 calories. 100 carbohydrates, grams, 
255 grams of protein and 209 grams of fat. As a percentage of macronutrients, carbohydrates is about 13%, protein is about 32%, and fat is 59%. Now, the reason why I have this cheat day and I eat high fat, because fat, when you eat fat, first of all, I eat very low fat throughout the week, so this helps me maintain my health, because when you eat fat, it is stored as adipose you know, in your adipose tissues, in your fat tissues, it's stored in there. So you use it after, use it, it's slower, use, use it, excuse, let me rephrase it. Your body uses it slower. So this lasts me maybe for four or five days. And I keep doing the process. So this way I don't, my body has fat to remain healthy. This is why I do this. In closing, I want to speak to you about one of my meals which had mixed berries, fruit, fruit salad, if you remember. And, and it has a kiwi, mixed berries, and a half a banana. There's a, there's a thing going around YouTube where Dr. Rhonda Patrick started it, where she stopped eating bananas. She stopped putting bananas in her smoothies because this study on the screen right here claims that if you put a banana in a, in a, a berry smoothie, it the study didn't say this. It was interpreted that way. Dr. Brandon Patrick said that you shouldn't put bananas in smoothies because it kills the polyphenols. It has bananas contain an enzyme called polyphenol oxidase. The polyphenol oxidase supposedly kills the compounds called polyphenols found in the berries that are supposed to be good for you. However, and then you've got athlete X. He has 13 million followers. He stopped eating bananas because of this. And then you have another channel, Physionics, that he thoroughly breaks down studies. I mean, in detail. And he also came out to the same conclusion that you shouldn't eat bananas with berries. Well, I disagree, ladies and gentlemen. Why? Because citric acid is a potent inhibitor of PPO polyphenol oxidase found in the bananas. This is well known in the scientific community. That's why I put kiwi and the mixed berries also have citric acid. These, this total of citric acid found in my fruit salad inhibits the polyphenol oxidase from doing harm found in the banana. I just wanted to bring this up. That's just my opinion. It's not my opinion, it's a, it's, it's a fact that citric acid does this, but they no one mentioned this. Have a wonderful day. I hope the information has answered many of your questions. Furthermore, P.S. I am not cheating. I am not cheating. I don't take TRT. I don't take steroids, but I have to admit, I am juiced. Orange juice, pineapple juice, apple juice, tomato juice. That's the only juice I'm on. Have a wonderful day, everyone. See you soon in my next video.